Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps. Today we are back in the world of 2000 AD Slain and we are painting one of the villains known as Magrim. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Now, I didn't realise she actually came after Meb, so I probably should have painted her first. But hey, we're running with it. Shortly after the Horned King saga, Magrim accompanied Slain as he brought the tribes together. She tried several times to sabotage this and at one point summoned Avagdu. <laughs> I have no idea how you pronounce that one. To kill Slain's then girlfriend, Nayim. Nayim? God, I am butchering these names. And was later responsible for the death of the Nuka, Slain's dragon. She was eventually discovered thanks to Uko and fled back to her master until the final battle between Slain and the Duke Droon Lords and the combined tribes. By the climax of war, she was presumed dead, having flung herself from her dragon. Now, this is a pretty cool ass model. She's in quite the dynamic pose. As you can see, I just primed her with a very simple white and I used the, I think it's called apothecary white, on her uh, loincloth and then we went for the fire giant orange to get that ginger hair color going and I'm finding with the slain models just a simple white prime is perfect probably gonna start doing that more often with my judge dread figures uh, it seems to help with the comic book brightness that these shoes these characters should have right this hair is gonna take me a while because I'm trying to make sure I get lots into the shadowy areas so while I'm doing that we can skip forward a little bit up next is crusader flesh tone get all the fleshy bits now I am for once in a position where I have a lot of my slain figures painted I don't have the entire collection yet I've been slacking on buying them they're going to be my next purchase when I raise the funds enough but i do have enough to actually start looking into doing the get starting guide like i've done i know i've mentioned it a few times that i was going to do slain i am probably in a position where i can do it now and take some interesting photos and do a proper guide and also work my way through a couple of the uh start of games that they've got one thing i want to do first though i want to do some judge dread battle reports desperately want to do some so they're going to be my priority uh not entirely sure when i'm going to get around to doing them because the kids are home from school so being able to carve out some time to film and play a battle report isn't the easiest thing right now but it is on my to-do list hopefully we'll get there soon but until then i am really concentrating on painting figures uh so next week there's obviously the community voting poll. If you've not done that, go do that now. Go have a vote on it. But I'm thinking definitely going to paint another slain set. I'm also going to paint a Judge Dread thing plus the community challenge. So that's the three things I'm painting each week for definite. A slain, a Judge Dread, community vote. And then I'm also going to try and push through to get all my alien figures done. There's just too many projects on the go here. But hopefully you're going to be tagging along for all that. Make sure you are liking, subscribing and all that good stuff. And we will zip forward in a second because you don't need to see me finishing up this. So let's get to it. With all the current areas hopefully now drying up, I grabbed the Grave Lord Grey to pick out some of the metallic areas on her. So looking at the sword hilt. Unfortunately... I don't know if it's the sculpt or if it's just the figure I got. The handle really blended into her robes, which made painting it with a speed paint very difficult because I was worried it was just going to start flowing off down into the robes, which would be super annoying. But I have slipped up in a few places, so I am going to grab my white paint after this stage, tidy up some bits to make sure that when I move on to the next color, I can have a nice flat area to paint over. Swiftly on the back of the Gravelord Grey comes the Runic Grey. I'm going to use this for her belt and some of her jewellery. 
not entirely sure how they painted her belt on the Warlord Games figures, but uh, I felt this seemed right. I find the bad guys in Slain definitely have more metallic aspects to them, so having these greys definitely helps bring out that aspect. Whereas the Earth Tribes and Slain in general, they have a more stone and wood effect going on. They prefer to use nature over mining practices. I think that was just on purpose by the author, Pat Mills. He wanted to bring those two different aspects together, having the tribes of the Earth goddess worshipping Earth, not willing to mess with what she creates, whereas the Fomorians and the Droon Lords would obviously mine the Earth, use their power of technology to create different metals and metallics that they then enslave the human world with, so gold, silver, bronze, steel, all those things. They caused humanity to become greedy and want to absorb those into their day-to-day -day lives. Now at this point, I noticed she had some more jewellery on her arms, plus some aspects on her sword hilt that kind of looked like they should be metallic, but I didn't want to do them in the runic grey because they were very close to other things that were grey already, and I was worried that I was maybe mooting down the model too much. So I grabbed the sand golem colour. My brain just completely died there. Uh, and use that instead. So I'm imagining it's kind of like a dirty gold colour. Uh, maybe not perfectly forged gold. The way it dries, it's got a kind of gold comic book style to it, I guess. Also kind of looks like leather. But um, we're not going to worry about that too much. This is a quick and dirty tabletop scheme. I'm not going to win any prizes with this paint scheme. And hopefully I'm just inspiring you to slap paint down and not worry about everything. Because look, I'm even using it on her hair to cover up some of the white areas and darken it down a little bit because it is a very bright orange. But this is such a great sculpt. I'm trying to work out how I could use these in Judge Dredd. Obviously the Fomorians are quite easy. I can just claim they're a Mooty Gang and... That's easy to run with. The humans, a little bit more difficult. Yeah, it's just not as obvious as what I can use them. Obviously, I can say they're citizens. I could also make them some sort of villain. But I need it to make sense. I could, in theory, use this model as maybe a psyker. She's got that pose. She's got the wild hair. Maybe she's created a cult. And now that I'm thinking about it, I remember in Mongoose Publishing, when they did Judge Dredd, they had a, a zombie priestess who was raising the dead and could actually lead a zombie horde. I think this model could really do well representing that. So maybe I should paint up some zombies. Ooh, ideas are flowing now. Don't you just love it? You're doing a voiceover for a video and it's just inspired an entire idea. Now I have to paint some zombies. Now I have to find some zombies. Ugh. Okay, next project. Um, finding zombies. Jeez. But uh, anyway, I got distracted there. Back to the model. We are now on the High Lord Blue. And we are working our way through her dress. Which is very flowy. Now once again, I am deviating from the box art. I think they used a dark green colour for her. That doesn't work for me. I don't do that. So I've gone with this nice bright blue that's going to play off nicely against the red hair and the flesh tones. And I think it's going to work really well. It's going to look real nice. Uh, it's sometimes it's nice to follow the box art. Don't get me wrong. But personally, do your own thing. If you've got a favorite color, paint it that way. Like purple, paint it purple. Like yellow, just paint it yellow. These are your models. You paint them the way you want. I'm just here to inspire. So with that wonderful jump cut, you can see I've pretty much got everything covered in a color. I'm pretty happy. We just got to get that base done. I'm not going to bore you with that. So we will jump into these beautiful glamour shots. You can see the last few steps I did. Finished the base. 
I also chucked a brown wash over the model, especially her hair and robes. Left the skin alone, but it helped darken it down, bring it all together. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, drop me a comment, drop me a... What can we do today? Let's just do a winky smiley face. That's it. Drop that. I'll say hi in the comments. And I will catch you in the next video soon. Bye-bye.